Hello. So we've been looking at comparing comp with, well, comparatives and superlatives in the last few days. And today we're going to continue with that, the comparison, by looking at scales of intensity. So our learning objective is to compare adjectives on a scale of intensity, which may, might sound a bit frightening, but it's actually very straightforward. So we usually say, I am strong, you are stronger. You're compare, I'm comparing me with you. Um, um, and then we can say, but he is the strongest. Okay, so we've done that last week with the comparatives and superlatives. Today, we're going to extend that. Okay, so instead of just having three, we could have up to five or six in our line of intensity. So we, we might start with the weakest and go up to the strongest, or the darkest and go up to the brightest. That is our scale, okay? So starting at one end and going up to another end. You can't see my hand going out like this. Um, and you need to decide um, where you're going to put the words. So we might have, so I'm just going to move this very slightly. You, we might have, so if we were thinking about the temperature, we've got, if you look at the sheet you've got, it shows you cold, chilly, lukewarm, tepid, warm and hot and you could even add some more to that so you could have before cold you might have freezing and after hot you could have boiling okay so we're going from really cold at one end to really hot at the other end okay so that is our scale now your jobs today are to do um, check it out practice and challenger um, it's quite a lot but you should find it okay so for check it out it says find and write the pairs of opposite adjectives in set A and set B. So you've got two lots of set A's and two set B's and you have to you have to find the opposites. So high, low, um, hard, soft, things like that. Okay, so you're just writing the opposites to start with. Okay, so that's check it out, writing the opposites. So when you get on to practice, you've got to, you've got three adjectives and you need to write those in a scale of in order of intensity now you could start with the lightest and go to the darkest or start with the weakest and go to the strongest or you could start with the strongest and go to the weakest it doesn't matter as long as they go one way or the other way so for example the first one you've got chilly warm and cool so i think if i was doing that i would do chilly because that's probably the coldest one then i would go for cool which is the middle one and then i go for warm being at the other end of the scale so chilly's here warms here cools in the middle okay um, and then you need to do that with the rest of those for practice and then for challenger they've given you two ends of the scale and you've got to come up with a word in the middle these are quite tricky you might have to think put your thinking caps on for some of them some of them are easier than others if you are really struggling to to work out what the middle word is then you can well, come to the Zoom, or if, it, if you can't come to the Zoom and you can't think of what the middle word is, then I suppose you'll have to leave it out. But do make the effort to try and do Challenger because it will make your brain work and that's what it's all about. Okay, fabulous. I look forward to seeing your work later. Brilliant.